Hey guys, Sword of Five here with episode number 17 of the Nice Grimmed on Fever 22. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And season number two's first player of the episode is a man that won it so many times last time round. It is Mr. Delort. New card design, we've gone with the player of the month card design for this one. I think it just fits the player of the episode a bit more than the in-form card does. And we're kicking today's episode off. Match day number two in League 1. Disappointing match day number one in terms of the performance. Hopefully we can come out of this one a bit better. Concede maybe a few less goals. Hopefully we did win match day number one. It was just we conceded a, a, a few too many goals for my liking. And right, coming into this one, early days. Gueri is looking good. Almost scores right within the first ten minutes here. But the chance for them as they come down the other end. It's Mila with a great strike, but Kepa. With an even better save. The title of the last episode was We Are Taking a Risk. And that is exactly what we're doing with the signing of Kepa Aritha Balaga. And we just got to hope that it pays off. And just a few minutes remaining in the half. Guerri puts the ball into the back of the net. We go in at half time. 1-0 to the good. Things are looking to go our way this game. Great saves by Kepa. Good Attacking play between our well, our front four kind of initially with uh, Janelt in that attacking midfield position. But a chance here, Pepe, not quite quick enough, and we do lose possession. As you can see there, Riyad Mahrez going back to Leicester. Really good to see there. As a chance here, and another huge save by Kepa. Denies him the chance of getting back on level terms. And it's, you know, it's maybe starting to show why we paid so much money for him. Why we should put our faith in him. And why maybe he's not the biggest of risks. But poor from a towel. Great save from Kepa. But unfortunately the deflection falls straight back to the Montpellier man. Uh, Steffi. Oh, Steffi Mavid, Madiv, Madivadi. I think he's English as well. But, you know, just as soon as we go behind, we go right back in front. Just a few minutes later, it's that man, the player of the episode, Delort striking the back of the net but a chance for them as they go from the free kick they hit the post deflects right back to him and we've conceded two really unfortunate goals in this game this time round it is the American Musa formerly of Valencia and then things go from bad to worse Atau I thought he got the ball there apparently not according to the referees penalty Yarmolenko steps up Kepa is stuck in the mud and just like that, we go from being 2-1 up to 3-2 down in the matter of about 10 minutes. So, we kind of bottled that one. I wouldn't really say any of that is on Kepa. Two deflected chances. Uh, well, kind of deflected chances. They strike it, the ball falls right back to them. And then a penalty. Not really on Kepa. When he was called upon, he made some great saves. And, you know, if maybe the uh, other players' performances matched the performance of Kepa, we could have won that one. But what might be our final transfer of this window, we're going to look to bring in Arnaut Danjuma, 25 years old, left midfielder, kind of just approaching his prime He's on that left-hand side, looking to bring him in from Villarreal. They're asking for a big chunk of change. Thankfully, we have the money. We're going to look to sign him. Unai Emre is perfectly fine with the money we're offering. Now it is down to the contract. A crucial first team role. Four years, no release clause. And as for his wages, we're given 55k. A nice little signing on bonus as well as a nice little goal bonus. And the signing of Danjuma, you might now know. Normally this season we've been playing Guerri on that left hand side. We're going to go for a little formation change. We're going to go last year from the 4-4-2. Now, from this point on, we're going to be playing a 4-2-4. Very attacking, but I think the midfield is fine. They're going to control it perfectly. And you can see that the fans instantly welcoming Dan Juma into the club. A huge tifo of him just in front of the, the home end, you know. They are loving the signing of Dan Juma, and I think it's a really, really good one, especially for the money we paid. He's going to be perfect down that left-hand side. Pepe on the right-hand side, Guerri and Delort as our two strikers. It's going to be goals, goals, goals for the remainder of this season with Danjuma turning his man 20 minutes in, finds Delort, and Delort 
finds the back of the net once again this season. He's the top goal scorer in the season already. I think he's got four goals in three games. So things are just going to get better for him in his career here at Nice. Player of the season last time round. Can he do it back to back? Obviously he's 31 this season I do believe. So he's uh, kind of getting up there in age. Maybe his stats might start coming down slightly. But with finishing like that. Gets his second goal of the game. He's probably going to get back to back player of the episodes again. For however many times he has in his career. In this career mode. But with 2-0 to the good. Things are looking good for ourselves. 42 minutes in though, a chance for Reims as Ekatike. I think he's literally just agreed terms or is just signed for Newcastle. It's not official yet, but I think he has just agreed terms with um, with Newcastle to sign for them. So that's a pretty pretty good signing for them. But Gueri kind of lets the ball run, doesn't quite work out. Falls to Dan Juma, finds the back on the net, but it is going to be chalked off his first goal for the club is going to be removed. He was offside and he was quite far offside. Kind of just playing around. He probably he knew he was offside, you know. But from the resulting free kick, because of Dan Juma being offside, they booted up the field. Turan wins it back. Out to the man that just scored the offside goal. He finds Pepe and we are going to look to strike it. A great save and a lovely finish at the back post by Mr. Dan Juma. He's standing in pretty much the exact same spot. This time though, the one factor is he is on side. 3-0 is the scoreline here against Stad Reims. We are looking very good in this 4-2-4. And just as I say that, Kepa makes a... Maybe he should be saving that. I think if he had better reactions, he could have saved that one. But he has been doing nothing all game, you know. One of their first attacks, they go and score... That's fine. We'll let him have that one, you know. He was caught on his heels because he wasn't warmed up. I'm just trying to defend him. I'm trying to defend him. I'm trying to keep his confidence high. But with just 15 minutes remaining in this game, another chance here for Stad Reims. They're working around the back very quickly, though. Are they out on this left-hand side? They find the man that has just signed for Newcastle, who eventually finds Unal. And the Turkish striker has gone and got his second goal of the game to put the pressure on us these final kind of 10 odd minutes and another chance is going to come their way the ball finds the man in the middle Unal looking for the hat-trick can he find it thankfully the block there by Ake it's going to fall back to the edge of the box and another chance is going to be created but Kepa makes a brilliant save keeps the scores at 3-2 thankfully that is how the game is going to end and we are going to see it through and we're going to end the episode with a well-deserved contract renewal and a new wage hike for Amin, oh, Amine Gueri. Had an SBC come out on Ultimate Team last night. You know I completed it, and you know I'm a big fan of this guy. But we're giving him wages from 31500 up to 55000 a big signing on bonus, and a nice little appearance bonus to go with it. Securing him, locking him down for a good few years, so if any team wants to take him off of us, they better pay the big bucks. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.